Hey, thanks for tuning in. This is Jared at Three Seas Recreation again, and we're gonna go over uh, the process of changing your oil in your four-stroke beta motorcycle. We've been a dealer since 2012, and this process has been pretty much the same since the beginning for us. Do keep in mind that there's gonna be different quantities of oil depending on the year of your bike. 12 to 14 were the same, but they had a 14 and a half model year race edition. If you have that bike, you need to, be do, you need to do your research on that don't go off of based off of standard 2014. That's gonna be more similar to what we're working with now. So pretty much from 15 to 22, um, it's gonna be the same amount of oil. But again, Beta makes this really easy because if you go to the Beta USA website, on the left-hand side, there's a support tab. If you click on that, it'll bring up uh, parts diagrams, owner's manuals, and shop manuals. Scroll down, find your bike, and follow along. So. Again, that's a free resource. I would highly recommend taking advantage of that. Before we do this, I'll show you what we're gonna use. So for this oil change, we're gonna replace the O-rings on the bottoms because there's it's a split case design, which I love. Your transmission oil and your engine oil are separated. So we're gonna replace the O-rings on the drain plugs. We've got a brand new filter. I'm gonna put in the description of this video the part numbers that I'm using to do this. So if you want to call me and order parts, or if you just want to have a easier access to what, what I'm actually using, you'll have it right in the description. We run the Motul oil. This is what we're going to put in the engine oil side. Couple different reasons why Motul works really good, but their packaging is awesome as well. If you scroll to the side, it's going to tell you how much oil is left in the, in the court. And then also when you, when you pop the top on this, it turns into a, a spout. So much easier to pour and you don't have to have a separate you know, funnel or even a mix cup to tell you how much oil you're using. So engine oil is a 7100. And then the transmission oil is just the Motul Trans Oil. We've been using this oil for eight years. All of our race bikes, all of our customers bikes, great success with it. Um, and the tool selection is, is extremely simple. Um, I use a pair of uh, needle nose because whenever the filter is in the end of the bike, and I'll show you guys this. It's easy to kind of go in there with this spread and pull the filter out. So that's why I have these. We have an eight millimeter uh, for the skid plate plus the oil filter cap. And then we have a, a 13 millimeter for both drain plugs. If you have an older bike, say um, 2013, you're gonna have to have a 13 plus a 17 because the transmission drain plug back then was a bigger size socket. So that's what we're gonna use for um, tools and oil. And the first thing that I'm gonna do now is, uh, the bike's already been warmed up, so I'm gonna pop the skid plate off, and then um, I'll show you guys right where, this, right where the drain plugs are. Okay, so now our skid plate's out of the way, and we'll look up under here. And again, your manual's gonna be pretty thorough, and as you can see, you always wanna wipe this out. Um, the front one here is our engine oil. And the back one's a transmission oil. So you can see they're both the same size socket. Um, this one here and the back one. So those are the two drain plugs that I'm gonna pop next. Again, the bike is warmed up. So I, I just drain both compartments at once, um, saves time. So um, that's what we'll do next. As you can see, the transmission oil is pretty dark. It's probably been a while since I've replaced the oil on, on this bike. This is my personal race bike. I probably have 10 hours on this. This drain plug has caught a ton of you know shavings off the clutch. So we obviously want to clean this really good. And then this is that O-ring that I'm going to replace. And again, the, the description, I'll put the part number that I, of that O-ring. So transmission plug first. You can see how dark it is. Okay, so there's our engine oil. It's a redder color, and that's that's true to um, the bottle as well. And then this screen, we always want to clean this really good. So I'll use starting fluid because it dries clean, and then I'll just use our, our air gun here at the shop, and I'll I'll blow it out, make sure it looks clean. But thankfully, everything looks really good on that filter. So now that we have both of our drain plugs pulled, we have to go to the other side of the bike, and we're gonna pull the cap off of our uh, oil filter, and that's the, where that eight millimeter comes in handy again. Okay, so our engine oil is draining, and this is where our uh, oil filter cap is. There's just two 8 millimeter screws. We'll pull these out. 
and these don't get torqued very much. When I put those uh, drain plugs back in, I will give you guys a torque on that as well. Um, I'm pretty picky about torquing drain plugs. With the shop, we see a ton of stuff come back with strip drain plugs, so. Uh, not just bikes, but machines in general. You're gonna get some oil come out of this as well. So make sure your, your drain pan is pulled over enough to catch that. And it's, it's a great idea to clean all this out because dirt can fit between the top of this cap and the case. So clean all this before you put it back together. I usually let the oil drain out for a quick second. That way we don't make more of a mess. And this is where my needle nose come in handy. So I spread them against the filter. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. And then it's gonna pull it out. Again, the filter is still full of oil. It's warmed up, so be careful. And we'll let that drain. Okay, we pretty much let all the oil drain out of the engine, or at least out of the uh, oil filter compartment. And you always wanna put a little bit of oil on the filter when you go to push this in on the rubber. That way it, it doesn't pinch it or it lets it seat correctly. So pretty much just push the new filter in, wiggle it around, it goes in all the way. And I had, I had already cleaned my, my filter cap, so I'm just gonna start that carefully. Make sure our bolts go in straight. And that's all there is on this side, so. I'll tighten this down and then um, we'll show you the other side. Okay, so we just finished putting the oil filter uh, cap back on. And the next thing is, is reinstalling our drain plugs. Um, they're both clean, we, we cleaned them both up. New O-rings, they're both ready to go. And we also cleaned uh, where the plugs go on the bottom as well. Still a little bit dripping, but it's done for the most part. So those are both clean. These are clean. We'll reinstall these. Now keep in mind the transmission drain plug is going to be 20 newton meters. And then the engine oil drain plug is going to be 15 newton meters. So 20 and 15. So I'm going to go ahead and reinstall these. And then uh, we'll talk about the importance of how much oil to put back in these bikes. Okay, so we have um, our drain plugs are both installed and torqued, skid plates back on. So now all that's left is actually refilling the engine oil and the transmission oil. So we have both of our oils here. And this is probably the most important part is you do not want to follow the manual. If you fill this to 750 cc's, which is correct, and then you use this check bolt to determine if that level is right, you're gonna get a ton of your oil back out of this check plug. I wish this wasn't here. So just don't ever unscrew this. Just trust yourself and know that you put 750 cc's in the bike. Again, don't follow the manual. Do not use this check plug. Same goes for the engine oil side. We know we drained all the oil out of the bike. It's gone. So now it's just time to put the correct amount of oil back in the engine side. It's 750 cc's for the engine oil as well. Again, don't look at the sight glass. Just know that you did it right both of those that we don't look at. So again, all that's left is we're just gonna refill, refill our oil. Okay, that's it. If you guys found this video helpful, please like and uh, subscribe to our channel. You're gonna see a lot more beta content. We've been a dealer for a long time, but we're just getting around to doing a lot of the YouTube stuff. Um, again, oil change is done, time to go enjoy. Thanks for watching.